Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of October 12th through the 19th. So this is going to cover your new moon. So the new moon is around the 16th, or it is the 16th. So let's just see what comes up for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for Aquarius? For the new moon energy. That was a stack. We're not going to take a stack. What do we have for Aquarius? Ooh, a shield. You need to defend yourself. Dog barking. Advice from a friend. Pig, beware of greed. So you're going to need to beware of greed. You may hear a dog barking because you got to defend yourself. I know that's not what it said, but that's what I got. Okay, but you are also going to be getting some advice from a friend. Um, I think that you need to be careful with that advice, okay, by the looks of these cards. You may have a friend here. Usually dogs are loyal, right? Usually. But this says beware of greed. Now, I don't know if that's your energy or somebody that you're dealing with. You need to d defend yourself from somebody that may be greedy, okay? That's what it kind of looks like to me. So be careful. Be careful. You may have another friend that sees sees something okay uh, maybe you're you you uh have to beware of being greedy for some reason let's see what we got what do we got i need to defend yourself oh, five of you <laughs> now this the five of wands is about fighting extreme competition okay um this is a battle of some sort In, in reverse, this could be the end, though. It could be the end of a conflict. So there could be a conflict that is coming to an end. It has been extremely competitive. It's been a huge battle. There's been a lot of players here. But this is going to come to an end. Herophant reversed. So this is somebody that is disgraced. This is, this is uh, having a hard time doing the right thing because of society. Somebody is under a lot of social pressure. They're not very spiritual. Um, doesn't believe in God. Doesn't believe in a higher power. Doesn't listen to their gut. Hang me. There could be some punishment that is coming for somebody. Somebody needs enlightenment. They need to go within. They need a new perspective. But they're unwilling to listen to any advice. It feels like somebody just wants to fight. You're dealing with somebody that wants to fight. They want to cause an uproar. This person is extremely competitive. And they, they may have some issues in their head. they got a, a point to prove. You know, they may they may be trying to prove something that it may not even be very realistic, whatever it is that they're trying to prove. Uh, hangman is somebody that needs a new perspective, needs some sort of solitude. Somebody, and maybe they have been in a period of solitude. They've been thinking a lot. They've made, they, they think that what, whatever they think, they, they're very stubborn, very egotistical. We have an individual here that is, is not thinking, uh, with the rest of the world, put it that way. Anyhow, um, hey man, reversed, struggling. Somebody, we have somebody here definitely struggling. We have a power struggle here. Somebody that is struggling. Struggling with society. 
Now, this is being controlled by a father figure questioning his authority. Somebody is questioning their authority, trying to prove something that really doesn't need to be proved. It's probably not even true. A new perspective is needed. You may be thinking about whatever is happening. If there's some sort of fight going on, some sort of battle, you know, you're probably thinking about it a lot, thinking about your next move. What are you going to do? How can you fix this? How can we stop this from happening? Somebody is very, very impulsive. They're, they're clueless. This is, this is bad timing. There's some sort of inf unfinished business here. Now, no, I'm not sure who it's with, but it could be with a father figure. doesn't have to be. There's unfinished business. Somebody is doing something foolish. This is foolish behavior. There's foolish pride here as well. There's lies. Somebody needs to learn a lesson. They are going to learn a lesson because they're going to do something stupid. This is stupid. Let me just bring this up. I had moved my camera earlier, so. So this is impulsive behavior. Somebody's going to do something stupid. They could get punished for it. There could be some sort of punishment that is coming. It feels like you're dealing with somebody who likes to fight a lot. Now, the Knight of Cups is somebody that is caring, very kind, very gentle. That is... I don't know if it's a counselor that is coming to help. It doesn't have to be a counselor, but it's a lover. Okay. Support. Some sort of support is coming. So some sort of support. Somebody needs support. They need a re they're looking for love. This is somebody that is looking for love that is going to is doing something stupid. Somebody's doing something foolish because they're looking for love. That all they want is relationship. All they want is love. Oh, God. We, whoever this person is, is very... Well, they're not in a very good vibration. They're, they're uh, not very awakened, to put it that way. Not very spiritual. We have a relationship that isn't on the same page because one of these people is... Uh, Well, it feels like they're obnoxious. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is obnoxious. This person is very egotistical and uh, spiteful. It feels like there's spite here. We have a spiteful individual some, somewhere in your circle. Um, and I feel like this person has been, you know... It's almost like it's a midlife crisis. Somebody may be going through a midlife crisis of, of some sort. They want love. They want a relationship. But they're not they're not thinking clearly. Somebody's not thinking clearly. Now this is uh coming out of hiding. I feel like we have an individual here that is very antisocial, may not have any friends that is uh, looking for a relationship now. They've been in isolation. They've been alone. They're feeling very alone. They're definitely lonely. There's somebody here that is very, very lonely that is looking for a relationship. And I feel like they're in a hurry to get some sort of attention Whoever this person is, they're not very awakened. This person isn't very spiritual. They probably don't believe in a higher power. They don't believe in God. Okay, they don't. This is a foolish individual. We have somebody here that definitely isn't very spiritual at all. This person is totally, you know, 
not awakened. <laughs> Interesting. Knight of Swords. Now that is kind of like the fool about to to uh, take a risk. Somebody, and it is risky. Somebody's about to do something very, 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 very risky. Uh, this person is. It feels like we have a fearless individual here that is going to do something stupid. Uh, they're going to take a risk and they're going to get punished for it. They are. I feel like they're going to get punished for doing whatever it is that they're doing. This person is about to... I feel like they're going to come out of nowhere. It's like they come out of the darkness. They come out of hiding. They come out of nowhere. They've got, they're have got. they on some sort of mission. Somebody is on a mission. Um, and I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces because we have Pisces here. Um, we have Taurus, we have Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, we have Virgo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, there's going to be a, this is like a sudden arrival. It comes, comes out of the darkness. It comes out of nowhere. Okay. Somebody has been hiding maybe their feelings. Okay. Because this is hiding feelings. Somebody may have been hiding their feelings uh, now they're they're ready to communicate or they're ready to do something. Okay, this is an individual that is very clever. Um, they may be angry with the Knight of Swords. I feel like we have some tension here around you. This is a very tense situation. Somebody is trying to prove a point, um, and they're willing. They're not fearful. I don't feel like this person is very fearful. I think we have an individual that. Um, I don't know. It feels like this individual is um, very, very sensitive. Very sensitive. Somebody's acting on their feelings, put it that way. They're letting their feelings get the best of them. So somebody is going to be acting on their feelings. They're, they're ready to do something. They're, they're coming out of hiding. They're, they're done isolating themselves. They're about ready to show up. Somebody's about ready to show up. definitely going to be a struggle of some sort. There's going to be some sort of struggle with this person. I don't know if this is like an enemy or what. Interesting. That Knight of Swords is... <sighs> I need to think fast. Somebody may need to think fast. Somebody's about to put their plans in action. They've been planning. Because the Hermit Upright is planning. They've, they've come up with a plan. Now they're putting their plans in action. So I'm not sure who you're dealing with. But whoever this person is. They. Uh, don't. They do things opposite of what they say. Do you know what I mean? They break rules. This is a rule breaker. This person is is pretty clueless. And I feel like there's an unprepared with the full reverse. Unprepared. Somebody is unprepared for this arrival. There's going to be an arrival that somebody is unprepared for. So, this is Whoever the person is, that is coming in is acting on their feelings. And it feels like they, they come out of uh, hiding. It feels like they've been hiding. Um, they've probably been hiding their feelings as well, burying their feelings. Now it's like, this is like a spur of the moment thing. It's like, they're ready. Just like they're ready. They're ready to pounce. They're ready to jump. Um, whoever this person is, has been thinking a lot, thinking, thinking, thinking. They've been thinking a lot and planning, planning something. What the hell are they planning? This person is, is spiteful. They are spiteful. They're oh, judgment. Judgment is truth. Truth's being revealed. This is being held accountable. They're, this is a, a life changing decision. Karma. Maybe it's a reconciliation of some sort because judgment is a reconciliation, but it is the end of things. This is a life changing decision. It's the end. Forgiveness, acceptance, allow, release. 
They've been planning to end something. And this is a card of the past. Now, you think about Judgment Day. It's where you release your th your sins. You know, that's what Judgment Day is. It's where you, you know, ask for forgiveness. Somebody may be coming back and asking for forgiveness. They may need forgiveness. But judgment is here. Somebody's actions are about to be judged, put it that way. There's karma as well. Now, this is truths being revealed. This is the end of the trial. It's the end of the situation. So, And I knew that the conflict is about the, to end. Something is about to end. I feel like you are dealing with a person that uh, is very, very emotional. This person is emotional. They are um, not very spiritual. This person is... Uh, I don't know. It feels like they're ignorant. I just got to be honest with you. But I feel like they've been in a period of isolation. They've been thinking, thinking, thinking about, you know, the past. They've been thinking about their life. And it feels like they're ready to uh, prove something. And it, it has to do with a fight, okay? They're ready to... Uh, maybe they think that they need to do something. Maybe they think that they're karma. You know what I mean? I'm your... You ever hear people say that? I'm your karma. They're not, but people say that stupid shit. You know what I mean? This is be held, in, held accountable. So somebody is going to be held accountable for their actions. I don't know who it is. This is accountability. This is where somebody gets sentenced. They get judged for their actions. So somebody is about to be judged for their previous actions this week. Karma is stepping in. And I feel like this karma is going to... Uh, well, this is punishment of some sort. Uh, mm, this conflict is about to end. This power struggle is about to end. This power struggle is about to end. Now, I don't know if the authorities are coming in. Because the Knight of Swords could be the authorities... Judgment. That is the end of things. Somebody's about to get a wake up call. This is a wake up call. That it's over. Magician. Yes. Whoever this person is, is taking action. They are willing to do whatever it takes. This is somebody who loves an audience. Definitely, we have wake up call twice. You may get a call in the morning, something happened at night. Now this is this is somebody that is willing to do whatever it takes to to get what they want. I feel like this is we have I feel I mean I see the magician as a manipulator. I think we have a master manipulator here that has planned, definitely planned something. Somebody has some tricks up their sleeve. You're going to need to defend yourself this week. I'm sorry. I feel like uh, this is, has to do with some sort of karma. Somebody's karma in the past. Somebody's about to get the karma that, you know, they manifested. Somebody manifested some sort of karma, okay? So there could be some truth that comes out that uh, it's a surprise. It really, this is a surprise with the full reverse. You totally are totally unprepared. You're unprepared for whatever this is. I think there's somebody in this scenario that is obsessed. I think somebody is obsessed. This person is uh, doing something that they planned on doing. I don't think it's good. Okay, don't.
But whatever happens, I feel like there's punishment that comes because of that hangman. I see the hangman as punishment. This is going to be a struggle for you. You're going to have to let something go. The hangman is about letting go. I think you're you may you may you may uh maybe you're not going to be happy with the outcome. I feel like it's a very tense, volatile situation with somebody that uh, is ignorant. I think you got an ignorant person here that likes to fight and wants attention. I think this person really, really wants attention. Whoever you're dealing with is going through some sort of midlife crisis. They've, they're lonely and I feel like they do something stupid to get attention and somehow you are involved and you're going to need to defend yourself this week. I'm sorry. I feel like you have the tools to defend yourself. You're going to be releasing somebody. I feel like somebody is going to cause a fight and you're probably going to be letting them go. Or they're going to be let go. One more card. Somebody is taking an opportunity because this is a golden opportunity to do something. What are they doing? They're judging. This is judging. It's just judgment. This is the end of things though. To assign responsibility. Somebody is doing something to somebody from their past. I don't know what the hell. Could be a child, may have something to do with a child. This is definitely very, very emotional. This is this is uh, childhood issues, rejection, tears. So anyway, I feel like this is going to be a rough week. There could be somebody that is coming back around that um, is looking for a relationship and they're butthurt, you know what I mean? That you don't want them and they do something stupid. There's definitely foolish behavior here. feel like somebody's coming to pick a fight and you're going to need to defend yourself. This is like an unrequited love situation. So anyway, I don't know. I don't know who this, who this reading is for. But it looks as though you're going to have to think fast. You're probably going to have to make a judgment call. You might have to stop somebody right in their tracks. Whoever you're dealing with is irresponsible. This person is unhealthy. And inflexible. So I feel like I feel like this week you're gonna need to take action. You are. You're gonna to have to take action to release somebody, and it's not gonna be pretty. It's good, good. There's a fight involved here, but this is the end of it. Okay, it's the end of this battle. Okay, it's final. This is the final. It's finally over. Judgment is where you know they. they it's done. It's over. This battle. This fight is over. So if you've been fighting with somebody, I feel like this is like the uh, moment. It's like the moment where 
it all comes to a head and ends. It's like it's over. I do feel like, you know, with that Knight of Swords, you may come out on top. Good luck.